Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. In this video, we will solve the differential equations of the following problems. You see, here I gave three problems. First one is solve x square p square minus 2xp plus y square minus x square y square minus x power 4 is equal to 0. And second problem is x square p square minus 2xyp plus 2y square minus x square is equal to 0. And third one is p into p plus x is equal to y into x plus y. Okay. By the observation of these problems, here they are given common uh, commonly x comma y comma p. So you can say this is a function of f of x comma y comma p. In this case, what is the degree of p you observe? Degree of p is 2. So you can say these problems are belongs to this problem also degree 2. Degree 2 is nothing but degree 3, 4, whatever it may be. Okay, if it is not equal to 1, then what you can say this means this is also observed degree 2. So if the degree is not is equal to 1, then you can say these problems are first order. P is equal to you see, P is equal to we are denoting with dy by dx. So this is first order, first degree. But here degree 2, degree 2, not equal to 1, not equal to 1. So you can say these all the problems are first order but not first degree. So to solve these problems, which method we will use? Solve for P, solve for X, solve for Y, clarets are different methods we have. But here we are solving these problems by using a means solvable for P. I am explain. I am saying that directly solvable for P is possible but solvable for P like we have a different problems easy to tough problems. Now I am discussing a little bit tough. In the previous problems solvable for P is nothing but what to do means this now, uh, this degree 2 now this one we are converting to product of two linear factors. Degree 3 means product of three, uh, three linear factors we will we will uh, reduce like that uh, we will write. Now, in that case, what we will do means, uh, first, it will become first order, first degree. This problem is first order, but not first degree. These all problems also first order, but not first degree. But these will convert into first order, first degree. First order, first degree, we have different methods. So many methods we have. Uh, in linear problems also, we have done many problems in uh, solving for uh, P, equation solvable for P, that too, especially, uh, while solving, uh, after reducing the first order first degree, we used only variable separable method. But in this case, not only variable separable method, maybe linear, uh, first order linear differential equation, maybe MDX plus NDY is equal to zero form, okay, or else uh, here we can use like a homogeneous method, or else inspection method, these methods also we will use. So, we are using other than, uh, uh, not like regularly we use, uh, in generally regularly, in general we use, uh, to solve the first order first degree, the method is variable separable method we use. Simple problems, for simple problems. But these are little bit tough. So that is why I chosen this one. Based on the students' in, uh, students' uh, interest, I am explaining these topics. Okay, na? Right. After watching this video, please comment in the comment box. Thank you uh, and subscribe also. Right. Now I am going to solve these problems. First problem is x square p square minus 2xp plus y square minus x square y square minus x power 4 is equal to 0. Okay. Here, where p is equal to dy by dx. So, this is first order, but not first degree. So, we can go for solvable for p. If possible, solvable for p, we have to do. Otherwise, go for solvable for x, solvable for y also. Anyway, now observe here, this is x square p square. So, you can write the given differential equation, you can read it. xp whole square minus 2xp plus x square y square next to uh, uh, one second here's a uh, problem I have written a little bit wrong this is y okay now so here also it is y plus y square minus x square y square minus x power 4 is equal to 0 be the given problem right now you observe a square plus b square minus 2ab form. So you can write a minus b whole square now? Yes. So xp plus y, xp plus y or minus y. This is minus 2ab now. So xp minus y whole square. And the remaining terms what you have? That is x square y square minus x power 4 is equal to 0. Take a, uh, keep it left side this one. xp minus y square is equal to, you can write x square y square plus x to the power of 4. From these two, what I can take common? x square. So you will have y square plus x square. That is 
एक्स पी माइनस वाई होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू नाउ अप्लाइंग स्क्वायर रूट ऑन बोथ साइड देन एक्स पी माइनस वाई इज इक्वल टू दिस इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ प्लस आर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर टाइम्स ऑफ वाई स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर सो एक्स पी माइनस वाई इज इक्वल टू प्लस आर माइनस दिस एक्स स्क्वायर इट विल कम आउट साइड देन वॉट यू विल गेट एस एक्स एलोन इन टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वाई स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर सो फ्रॉम वाई स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर एक्चुअली पी इज नथिंग बट डी वाई बाई डी एक्स सो राइट ऑन दट वन ऑल्सो एक्स इन टू डी वाई बाई डी एक्स माइनस वाई इज इक्वल टू प्लस आर माइनस एक्स इन टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वाई स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर नाउ हियर यू सी डिनोमिनेटर यू हैव डी एक्स नो सो टेक राइट साइड देन एक्स डी वाई माइनस वाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू प्लस आर माइनस एक्स इन टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वाई स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर इन टू डी एक्स यू अब्जर्व इन जनरली डी एक्स इयर एक्स डी वाई माइनस वाई डी एक्स मीन डिवाइडेड बाई इधर एक्स स्क्वायर आर वाई स्क्वायर शुड बी इंस्पेक्शन मेथड ऐसा नो नाउ इयर यू हैव डी एक्स ना सो क्वेश्चन शुड बी वॉट एक्स एलोन बट इयर यू हैव वाई आल्सो सो वॉट आई कैन डू मीन्स इयर हियर आई कैन टेक फ्रॉम दिस आई कैन टेक एक्स स्क्वायर इज अ कॉमन फ्रॉम दिस फ्रॉम दिस स्क्वायर रूट देन आई विल गेट यू सी दिस इज इक्वल टू प्लस आर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर कॉमन मीन्स एक्स स्क्वायर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वाई बाई एक्स ओल स्क्वायर प्लस वन इन टू डी एक्स बाई दिस इज लेफ्ट साइड वॉट हैव एक्स डी वाई माइनस वाई डी एक्स सो डिवाइड विथ एक्स स्क्वायर देन एक्स डी वाई माइनस वाई डी एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू प्लस आर माइनस अंडर रूट ऑफ वाई बाई एक्स ओल स्क्वायर प्लस वन नाउ दिस इज बाई इंस्पेक्शन मेथड वॉट आई कैन रेट यू सी डिनोमिनेटर इंटू न्यूमिनेटर डिवेट माइनस न्यूमिनेटर इंटू डिनोमिनेटर बाई डिनोमिनेटर स्क्वायर सो डिनोमिनेटर एक्स स्क्वायर यू हैव सो डिनोमिनेटर शुड बी एक्स नेक्स्ट स्टार्टिंग विथ एक्स राइट बाई इंस्पेक्शन मेथड वॉट आई कैन से दिस इज द डिवेट ऑफ फाइव एक्स यू सी एक्स डी वाई माइनस वाई डी एक्स बाई एक्स स्क्वायर राइट इज इक्वल टू प्लस आर माइनस प्लस आर माइनस अंडर रूट ऑफ वाई बाई एक्स होल स्क्वायर प्लस वन Now this is derivative of y by x. This is a y by x term. Na? So take one side, then derivative of y by x by under root of y by x whole square plus one is equal to plus r minus d x. Now you see this y by x you consider as a t. Let y by x is equal to t. Here I am doing y by x is equal to t. Then a uh, derivative of y by x will become what? dt so this is this implies what i can get here you see this implies dt by square root of t square plus 1 is equal to plus r minus dx now you have to integrate on both sides then you will get your integrating on both sides means you see here i have integration of dt by one second Hmm. Now you see this one only, na? Right. In this case, what I can get means here, this is d t by root of t square plus one is nothing but sine h inverse t, na? Yes, sine h inverse t formula. This is equal to plus r minus x plus c. Okay. Now this is you can get c plus r minus x also. Next, you see c plus r minus x. साइन इनवर्स आ साइन एच इनवर्स ऑफ टी सो टी इज इक्वल यू कैन राइट साइन एच ऑफ सी प्लस आर माइनस एक्स वॉट इज टी यू हैव वॉट यू कंसिडर टी यू सी वाई बाई एक्स सो वाई बाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू साइन एच ऑफ सी प्लस आर माइनस एक्स ओ आर आर वॉट आई कैन रेट मीन दिस वन एस वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स इन टू साइन एच ऑफ सी प्लस आर माइनस x this is the solution for the given differential equation but we are solving for we are solving for p so what i can do means here product of two values so two solutions we need to write na so this is y here you see actually plus or minus x here you have na so this is first this will become minus left side if you take in y minus x sin h c plus x one term okay another term is y minus x into sin h of c minus x that's it is equal to 0 so this is a solution right next problem before going to solve the first problem uh, second problem i will explain the first problem once again 
given differential equation you see i wrote your xp whole square minus 2xyp plus y square minus x square y square minus x power 4 is equal to 0 be the given equation now it is a square plus b square minus 2ab form just we are rearranging so a minus b whole square remaining terms you take right side now from these two what i can take common x square is a common this is xp minus y whole square no? so square root apply both side then you will have plus or minus uh, x square into y square plus x square. From this, I want to take uh, x square is a common. Then you will have x. Again, you see, p is nothing but dy by dx. So, uh, if you take an LCM, x dy minus y dx is equal to plus or minus x into square root of y square plus x square dx. Actually, d x dy plus y dx means derivative of 5x by inspection method. But here you have x dy minus y dx. Not x dx plus y dx, y dy. Okay. Now in this case, what I can do here, if it is a plus or also x dx plus y dy, you can do. But here you have x dy minus y dx. No? So here uh, this x term is there. Divide with uh, either x square or y square. Here which is possible means x you have. No? So x square you take outside. Then it will become x into x, uh, x square. Now you take x square is left side. Then divide it by x square. This is nothing but by inspection method you can say derivative of y by x. This is equal plus or minus under root of y by x whole square. Let this y by x is equal to t. Then derivative of y by x will become dt. Now dt by uh, this will become dt by square root of t square plus 1 is equal to plus or minus dx. Nothing but here. This integrating on both sides. Then this is the formula of sin h inverse t is equal to plus or minus x plus c. So sin h inverse t is equal to c plus or minus x. Then t is equal to sin h of c plus or minus x. Replace t by replace here which implies y by x is equal to sin h of c plus x this is y is equal to you can add actually you will have two solutions product of two solutions na? so y minus x into sin h of c plus x one equation another one is y minus x into sin h of c minus x is equal to 0 is another equation like this we have to solve now second problem now the given problem is solve x square p square minus 2xy p plus 2y square minus x square is equal to 0, where p is equal to dy by dx. So, this is first order, but not first degree. So, we have to go for solvable for p first time. If it is not possible, then go for solvable for x or y or another method also, right? Now, in this case, uh, if it is possible, uh, try to rearrange. This is x square p square minus 2xyp plus uh, 2y square you have. So, from this, what you can write here, you see, this is x square p square minus 2xyp plus y square plus y square minus x square is equal to 0. I am writing because I can write this as xp plus y whole square. S or no check it here. xp plus y whole square means x square p square plus y square. Sorry, this is minus. So write down simply minus. Minus 2xyp. Okay, na? so xp minus y whole square is satisfied with this one. Yes, plus remaining term what do you have? y square plus y square minus x square is equal to 0. So, sorry, I will write uh, clearly xp minus y whole square plus y square minus x square is equal to 0. Now, solvable for p means take p term one side, keep it a p term left side and the remaining terms are right side. Then it will become xp minus y whole square is equal to, uh, this is minus, no? this is plus. So, first you write in plus terms x square minus y square. Now square root on, apply square root on both sides. xp minus y is equal to plus r minus under root of x square minus y square. Then xp is equal to y plus r minus under root of x square minus whole square. Uh, what is, okay, you can see, one second, here p is equal to, p is equal to what you can get? y by x plus r minus under root of x square minus y square by x. Now you observe y by x. P is equal to you have it like a two terms you can get. Anyway, but which method you have to apply? This is P is equal to you have. P is equal to what? Dy by dx. You can write minus y by x is equal to plus r minus under root of x square minus y square by x square also I can write. By x square also I can write. Otherwise, I can leave like that only. But, which method you have to apply? Linear apply. Can I apply the linear means? dy by dx. This is dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x form. Then you can apply linear. But here you have what? Is it a linear? Because you have right side, what do you have? 
is it q of x term na no x comma y term so linear differential equation of first order you cannot apply directly so which method you have to apply variable separable is it possible variable separable method here see can you uh, rearrange x comma dx terms one side y comma dy terms one side and the same not possible so you cannot apply variable separable method next what you have homogeneous verify the homogeneous what is the degree here one degree one two minus two 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 by two so here the what you are getting here yes so can, for this can you apply the uh, homogeneous method yes you can apply the homogeneous method right what to do in this case means let y by x is equal to v which implies y by x is equal to v na so which implies y is equal to vx that implies dy by dx is equal to v plus x into dv by dx substitute these all values in this equation then what you are getting you see dy by dx i can replace as v plus x into dv by dx minus y by x means v is equal to plus or minus under root of x square minus y square means what is the y square i can write v square x square by x square here yeah. okay na so x square common this x square in the numerator and denominator will be getting cancel then you will have this plus v minus v getting cancel then x into dv by dx is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus v square now you check it here variable separable is possible or not yes so dv by this is plus or minus i am taking right side uh, left side 1 minus v square is equal to 1 by x dx now integrating on both sides simply integrating integrating on both sides then what i will get here 1 by root of 1 minus v square means sin inverse v formula so plus or minus sin inverse v is equal to log x okay na plus you can write uh, log c therefore this is what i can write here v value i also i can simplify you see plus or minus sin inverse v is equal to log x c okay from this plus or minus v is equal to sin of what i can write here uh, x c is equal to what i can write you see sorry x c is equal to e to the power of plus or minus sin inverse v so x c is equal to e to the power of plus or minus v replaced by y by x that's it so what i can say means here this is a solution na now in this case this is a solution na but is it like product of two functions no uh, you need to write product of two functions na so for this what i am doing you see this sin inverse v plus or minus you have na i'll write uh, i'll write again one moment this is sin inverse of plus or minus sin inverse v is equal to log x plus log c i am writing a log log a plus log b form log a plus log b form is log log ab right now this is v is equal to plus or minus v is equal to sin of log x c okay what is v you have y by x y by x is equal to plus or minus y by x is equal to sin of log of x c right so what is y you can get plus or minus y is equal to x into sin of log of x c or or you can also write this as y minus so plus y i am taking y minus x sin of log x c one function okay na next second function minus y i am taking minus y if you taken take this side you will get plus y na so plus y okay sorry mi minus y it will ah uh, plus y plus x log uh, sin of log of x c is equal to zero so this is the second problem solution right are you understood now third problem 